In this video, you're going to learn 25 conversation fillers that are going to make your spoken Brazilian Portuguese sound much more natural. Olá pessoal, welcome back to the channel. My name is Fernando from Fun with Brazilian Portuguese. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click on that notification bell so that you never miss any new videos that are going to help you learn Brazilian Portuguese. So, conversation fillers. I've selected 25 extremely common conversation fillers in Brazilian Portuguese. These are the fillers that Brazilians use all the time. If you try and incorporate some of these words and interjections into your day-to-day -day conversations with Brazilians, you will sound a lot more natural, more fluent. Então, vamos começar. Let's start with então. Então is normally used as so, especially at the beginning of sentences. Então, vamos começar. So, let's begin. Number two. Tá. tá is a short version of está, which is the conjugation of the verb estar in the third person singular. It's used as ok or all right. It's a short way of saying tá bom or tá certo when you are agreeing to something that someone said to you. For example, vamos ao cinema hoje? Let's go to the cinema today. You can say tá, vamos. Ok, let's go. You can also use it in a question. Vamos nos encontrar às nove, tá? Let's meet up at nine, ok? So you're asking for confirmation or agreement from someone. Number three, daí or e daí. They are used to connect thoughts or actions and sometimes you use them to imply consequence as well, similar to so or then. The second one there, e daí, is just adding the word and. So it will be and then. Let's say an example. Eu estava cansado, daí decidi ficar em casa. I was tired, then I decided to stay home. Now just e daí can mean so what. So, it will depend on how you say it. So, this the intonation here is important. The same way you would say in English, so what? E daí? Você vai chegar atrasado. E daí? Eles que esperem. So what? They can wait if I'm late. Number five, e aí? E aí literally means and there. We saw this in the video that I have uh, on greetings, how to say hello and how are you. E aí? Tudo bem? Hi there. How are you? It will be something like that. Literally, and there. How are you? But we can translate it as hi there. E aí? Tudo bem? You can also use it similarly to the one we saw before. E daí? You can say e aí? And then. You can also use it with the word depois. E aí? Depois? Depois means after or afterwards. And then afterwards, ontem jantei fora, e aí depois eu fui ao cinema. Number six, então tá. So this is using two filler words that we've already seen, então and tá. When used together like that, it means all right then. Normally used to signal the end of a conversation, that you want to wrap things up. Então tá. Até amanhã. All right then, see you tomorrow. Number seven, I. That can mean ouch, when you are in pain, or oh. Let's see some examples. Ai, me queimei no ferro. Ouch, I burnt myself on the iron. Another example. Ai, que horror. As in, oh, how terrible. Now, it can also sometimes mean, ah, like we say in English when we say something cute, Ai, que fofo. That would be something like, oh, how cute. Number eight, ah. That can mean ah or oh. Ah, agora faz sentido. Oh, now it makes sense. So that's, you need to drag that ah a little bit. Ah, agora faz sentido. 
Number nine, bon. Bon literally means good, but it's often used at the beginning of a sentence to mean well, right, or okay. Let's see an example. As an opening, bon, já que você insiste. It can express hesitation as well. Bom, não tenho certeza. Well, I'm not sure. Number 10, é. That's used as well or um, um, when thinking, buying time. É, deixa eu pensar. As in well, let me think or um, let me think. It can also mean yes. Parece que vai chover. If someone says to you, looks like it's going to rain, you can say, é. O céu está muito escuro, as in yes, uh, the sky is very dark, so é can also mean yes. Number 11, mesmo. Mesmo can have different meanings, but as a filler word, it's normally used as really when expressing surprise. So if someone says to you, I won the lottery, ganhei na loteria. Mesmo? As in really? Or you can also use é at the beginning as it is really, é mesmo. Number 12, isso. Isso literally means this or that, but it can be translated sometimes as that's it. As a verbal confirmation or acknowledgement of what someone said to you, uh, that it's correct. So, for example, If someone says to you, é assim que se escreve, is it written like this? Isso, as in, that's it. It can sometimes be used with the word mesmo, which we saw earlier. That would reinforce the idea. So it would be something like, that's exactly it. Isso mesmo. Number 13 is a structure that you start with key. For example, in English we would say how terrible that we saw earlier actually or how cute. We're going to use key. For example, vou para o Brasil em julho. I'm going to Brazil in, Jul in July. So you can say que legal. So after key you need an adjective there. How cool, how great. Que ótimo, how great. Que lindo, how beautiful. Number 14, very common one. Nossa, when you want to say wow. So express a surprise. For example, nossa, que dia lindo. Wow, what a beautiful day. Nossa literally means our, and it comes from Our Lady of Aparecida, which is the patroness saint of Brazil. So you would say that when you are surprised and it got reduced to just the beginning, nossa. It would be something like saying in English, my. Number 15, gente. So again, that's another way of saying wow. Gente literally means people. So using the same example as before, gente, que dia lindo. Wow, what a beautiful day. Number 16, pois é. Pois é is used to agree with something that someone says to you. And it's a bit like, that's right, or yes, I know. Let's see an example here. A política brasileira é uma piada. Brazilian politics is a joke, so you can say, pois é. Yes, I know, or that's right. Number 17, uh-huh. It can be spelled differently. It's just really a sound that means yep or yep. Chove muito em Londres. Does it rain a lot in London? Uh -huh. Chove muito. So this is quite a common sound that Brazilians make when they agree to something that someone says. Number 18, poxa or puxa. This is normally used to express frustration Or it, it has a negative connotation. So it's an interjection similar to ah or oh no. So puxa, que pena que isso aconteceu com você. Oh no, what a shame that that's happened to you. 
19 poor. Again, this has a negative connotation. It means something like damn or blimey in um, British English. Poor Anna. Você está atrasada, as in damn Anna or blimey Anna, you're late. Poor. Number 20, olha. It comes from the verb olhar. This is the imperative, as in look. It's sometimes used with the word só, which literally means only, but it's just used here to reinforce the idea. Olha, eu tive uma ideia. Look, I had an idea. So not literally look, it could be literally look here, but sometimes it's just like we would say in English, look, I... And then you say something else. Or it would be the equivalent of saying as well, listen, I had an idea. Or, Look, I had an idea. Olha. Number 21, quer dizer. That's used as I mean, when you correct something that you've just said. You've got the verb querer here. Although it means I mean, that verb querer is conjugated not with eu, but in the third person singular. Quer dizer. As in, it means. So what I've said, it actually means something else. For example, dobra direita, quer dizer, à esquerda. As in, turn right, I mean, left. So, quer dizer. Number 22, por falar nisso. Speaking of that. Or, by the way. Por falar nisso, você viu a Maria hoje? Speaking of that, have you seen Maria today? Number 23, tipo or tipo assim. That means like. O que você quer fazer hoje? What do you want to do today? Alguma coisa divertida, tipo sair com amigos para beber. Something fun like going out with friends for a drink. So you could say tipo assim, sair com amigos para beber. Doesn't matter which one you use. Number 24 is né. Very common for Brazilians to say né a lot. It's like saying right or isn't it in English. Né is the contraction of não plus é. That becomes né. O Brasil é lindo, né? Brazil is beautiful, isn't it? Or Brazil is beautiful, right? And number 25, oi. Now, you probably know that oi means hi or hello, but if you say oi with the intonation of a question, that's like saying what or sorry when you can't understand what someone said to you. Oi, o que você disse? Sorry, what did you say? Então tá, pessoal, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Muito obrigado, até a próxima!